Hello everyone, how are you guys? So here I am, Dr. Sandeep Madan and your anatomy faculty and I welcome all of you guys to my 15 days, 15 concepts and today we are meeting on the last day of this series. So I have got uh, like uh, certain comments from the students that I should continue with the series. But anyway, let me tell you, uh, this series had this name 15 days, 15 concepts. So that is going to end. But yes, uh, as per the request that I have received and uh, uh, we'll continue with the small, small concepts. We'll uh, maybe 2.0 or some other name we'll give or uh, some other format. But yes, we'll continue with the videos. Okay. So uh, for timing, this is the last video of this current series. So what I have included here, this concept is rule of 17. So for the rule of 17, basically what really happens, we have certain nerve when they get injured, there is some part which gets deviated. So we need to know that which part will be deviated towards which side, whether towards the normal side or towards the abnormal side. And we will be uh, like, uh, I'll show you the images with the help of the images. Uh, it will be clear that which side is affected and why. First of all, 7 plus 10 is 17 and 5 plus 12 is 17. Now 17 as such does not have any significance. The only significance is the behavior of 7 will be just like 10 and the behavior of cranial nerve 5 will be just like 12. The meaning is whatever is the behavior of the 7, the same will be the 10th. So like that, 5 plus 12 will be another type of group. For the 7 nerve injury, we know the angle of the mouth is deviated, right? Facial nerve, palsy, patient will come with the angle of mouth deviated, correct? For the 10th nerve, uvula is deviated, but we can't see from outside. So to see the uvula, we will ask the patient to say, ah, like that, and then we will see the uvula. So uvula is already deviated only to see, we will ask him to open the mouth, okay? And for the fifth nerve, jaw will be deviated on protrusion and for the twelfth nerve, tip of tongue will be deviated again on protrusion. Now what I have written for the seventh nerve and the tenth nerve, they will be deviated to the normal side and at rest. What is the meaning? At rest means when the patient will present, already deviation will be there. But this seven, uh, 5 and 12, this deviation will be towards the affected side, towards the injured side or abnormal side. Okay, But that will be on protrusion. That means at rest there will be no deviation. But yes, when you attempt the protrusion, then this deviation will take place. Let us look at them one by one. For example, this is the uvula. When you ask the patient to open the mouth and say, ah, here, the left side is paralyzed that's why the right side muscles are pulling towards the right side so left side here is paralyzed and the normal side is the right side and the normal side muscles are pulling towards it side right towards the normal side so that is about the number uh, cranial nerve 10 regarding this cranial nerve 7 again this is deviated towards the normal side because this is the right side is affected over here okay but when you say the tongue is deviated towards the left side, why it is deviated towards the left side? Because what is happening over here, if both the muscles are working, then the protrusion will be in the midline. If this muscle is not working, then the protrusion will be towards the affected side. It will cross the midline and goes to the affected side. That means then why we are saying on protrusion there will be uh, uh, deviation at rest there will be no deviation because if you see at rest this muscle is also not working this muscle anyway cannot work that's why there is no deviation <clears throat> and in a similar manner fifth nerve also deviation will be towards the affected side so i hope that makes sense now thank you so much for attending all this uh, series we'll meet in some other videos. Thank you so much. Take care.